Cody, it's great to be with you. Good to be here. Yep. Man, it's so good, Carrie, listening to these new songs from the record. And I'm so excited that you put a version of Let the Light In on your record. Um, I've been a huge fan of this song ever since, Cody, you led it at Worship Together 2020. Back in, That feels so long ago when I say <laughs> it like that. But um, maybe we'll start with you. Um, this song is incredible. Um, and just, man, how it comes alive in the moment, I mm. think, is 
the thing. It's like you listen to the song, it's like, man, that's a great song. And then when you experience it, it's like a whole nother level. Totally. Yeah. But talk about the song a little bit. And I know you wrote this with some friends yeah. and just the thoughts behind it. Yeah, this song like lights up a room like crazy. It's so it's so fun no to pun lead. intended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Wow. It just, that's exactly what it does. Uh, I wrote this with um, Christian Stanfield and Brett Yonker from Passion. Mm-hmm. We I went down last October and, and wrote with them in Atlanta. We ended up writing this song. I had the bridge of this song for about three years. I actually wrote it um, when we were working on the Garden album with Carrie. Uh, we were in the studio one day, and we had a break, and I just went into the piano in the main room and just kind of started playing for 30 minutes or so, and this bridge idea came out. And I've been sitting on it for a while, waiting for like the right song to put it in. And when I went and wrote with Christian and Brett, um, we started writing the verse and the chorus, and I said, hey, I think I have this bridge for this. And... Uh, ended up just fitting so well. But there's a few scriptures that this song really um, is based on. Psalm 24 uh, is open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord invincible in battle. That's like that first part of that chorus. The second line of the chorus is really based on Psalm 22 that says, yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so there's something really powerful about like, asking the king of glory to come in to his manifest presence to come into a room that you're worshiping with people in um and the bible says he's enthroned on our praises so when we lift up praise the presence of god comes down and it rests on that place of honor Mm. on that place of Mm. adoration and that's really what this chorus just is like a heart cry for uh and then the verses really just came about more so of what brett and christian and i felt like god was speaking in for this this season of the church and didn't know we'd come into 2020, but we really felt just this, this prayer of it's time for the sleeper to wake. It's time for the old winds to change. I hear the mm-hmm. spirit say it's time. And there's a scripture in Ephesians five um, that says the light makes everything visible. Mm-hmm. And this is why it is said, awake O sleeper, rise up from the dead and Christ uh-huh. will give you light. Mm-hmm. So it's really this prayer, even the bridge, open up the windows, let the light in. What I see when I sing that is I see just just darkness that maybe people are walking in or maybe dark parts of, of our souls, of our hearts, or just hard things that we're walking through or things that, that are blinding us, really that the windows of our heart would open up and that mm-hmm. the light of Jesus would shine mm-hmm. in. Wow. The light of Jesus would break through the darkness is really what this is. And I think that's what makes it so fun to sing is because when you get to that bridge and it's that repetitive prayer, it almost feels like this tribal chant in the best yeah, way totally. you know yeah. <laughs> and it really stirs something up in people to say open up the windows let the light in like mm-hmm. let the light of Jesus shine and i think for the time that we're in all the darkness that we feel like we're surrounded with in the world right now in 2020 i feel like it's just a song for the time to say let the light of Jesus let the hope of Jesus mm. yes. break through all the darkness all the chaos uh, let the King of Glory in. The King of Glory is invincible in battle. Wow. He's the answer to all of this mess. Let let the King of Glory come in. Wow. So good. Yeah, I love that line. Like, come ride on your people's praise. Yeah. Me too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time <laughs> I want to be like, come ride. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's so amazing. And Carrie, it really is like a moment. Like, it's a it's a, a song to experience live. And there's such a sense of joy mm-hmm. and celebration. In the song, I think totally. that the night that you and Cody led it at conference, it was like first time anybody ever heard the song, which was mm. nuts. Mm-hmm. And if you watch the video, you can see what happened in the room. Yeah. <laughs> but there was such a sense of release and joy and faith that were yeah. released as you guys were leading this. But yeah, talk about this. I know you guys have been leading this at church. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, it's, it's on the new record. You guys have an amazing video that you recorded mm-hmm. on worship night leading this song. But yeah, talk about just the experience in the room with it. Yeah, I, I loved that night, the first time that we led it together, and um, I quickly realized, man, there's some strength and power in this song, and uh, as I prepared for my album, I just, I kept, I, I sing it a lot around the house, and the boys love it, and um, anytime they open a window, we're like, open up the window, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, like, it's kind of a fun song for our boys, um, and we were just gearing up for this album, and I just told Cody, I was like, I want to lead, I want a girl version of this song. Mm -hmm. I think that 
it's just been in our spirits and it's been something that we've just been experiencing God move in our own home. And I was, I think we've just been carrying this together Mm -hmm. in our spirits for our family, for families, for the church. And I feel like it's such a prophetic thing right now, even for the church as we do it, we've done it a couple of times at church and it just explodes. And in this season of the, you know, so many churches are still in lockdown and, Mm -hmm. and only online streaming and you know there's just something that's shifting it's going to shift yeah. and and I think just getting to lead our people in in this song to say come on although it doesn't look like we want it to look right now we need to open up the windows and let the spirit of God come in whether that's in your home on your couch or mm-hmm. at a, a service you're able to go to in social distancing whatever that looks like for yeah. church right now um, it's just been so powerful and I just think it's a spiritual and prophetic declaration that's not going to go away and not going to go get old it's not just for this season but there's a lot of power in it in this season yeah Yeah. i was just thinking about churches a lot of these churches that have been on lockdown like when they are finally able to come back together a song like this Mm -hmm. just coming back to that you know open up the windows like you know the church is alive and we're back together yeah so so good so powerful yeah well walk us in man what you're playing you're capo too i'm capo too so i'm in dad gad tuning uh which is just named after the tuning d a d G A D, okay. and uh, I'm capo too because the song's an E. So playing just like a real open E tuning, which is nice on this song. It's real driven by acoustic. So my um, my E chord is just this one finger here on the second fret, real open. And then my F sharp minor, I just put a finger up here on the second fret for a little dissonant two minor there. And then E over G sharp looks like that. And then the C sharp minor is up here, same shape, just move it up. And then you've got the B here. And then the A here. And then back down to that. So that that walk up, walk down is kind of what the whole song's based on. Uh, and then the verses do a, a variation of that, but they um, they walk up all the way to the A. So this is the verse to the two, walk it up to the A, and then the chorus goes back to that original progression on the intro, faster walk up, C sharp minor, walk it down, and then the bridge is fun because you just hold that one forever. And you can really just kind of just dig into it yeah. on acoustic, on electric guitar as you hold the one, and then eventually it goes back to that chorus progression on the last bridge. That's, the, that's, the, that's the war drum on the, just, on that's the, the, on the bridge. That's the war drum, man. That's just the gritty, <laughs> the gritty, dis, the gritty um, just dronal, you know, thing. It's so fun to build this anticipation. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing the song. It's, it's so exciting uh, to see it going out to churches. And mm-hmm. Carrie, like you said, I'm so glad there's a, there's a female version of this song. It takes on a different meaning yeah. when you lead it, I think, when, when I heard Cody lead it, and it's yeah. really special. It's, it's different for the church. And so thank you guys for sharing it with us. Praise.